Hey guys, Bonnie here. I'm going to show you today how to use our Pride 201A template within Photoshop. Really excited to show you. This is some new stuff that should make it a whole lot easier for you to use this template within Photoshop. First and foremost, you should have already purchased the file, downloaded from your Etsy account the zipped file folder, unzip the folder, and once you unzip the folder, open the unzip folder, and you're going to see it split up into various programs. The very first folder should be AI, PSD. You want to click on that folder and then double click on the Photoshop file. Okay, so it's really a whole lot easier than previous versions. We think we've kind of main streamlined it to where it'll be the easiest way. So once you've clicked on the Photoshop file, it's going to open this up in Photoshop for you. And you see the first thing you're going to see is the basic template. And you want to have your layers panel open to the right. If your layers panel is not open, you want to go to Window, go down and click Layers there. Okay, so it closed it, but I'm going to do it again. Window, go down to Layers, and it's going to open it. Okay, so your layers panel should be open. You see there's three different folders within this panel. There's the basic template, a place, a folder for you to put your team name, and then alphabet. If you turn on the I, that one's empty right now, but if you turn on the I or the little square beside the folder, the alphabet, you're going to see it puts all of the alphabet up for you, okay? So first and foremost, we're going to decide our team name. Let's say we're going to use the name Braves, and we're going to create the team name first. So beside the basic template folder, I'm going to press the I to turn it off. I'm going to click this little empty square beside alphabet to turn on this folder. Then I'm going to click the little right pointing arrow to open the folder so I can see the contents. And you'll see the contents, they're going to go straight down here. And using this navigation bar, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on my first letter, which is a B. Once I've clicked on the B, I'm going to, on my keyboard, this is the shortcut, I'm going to press Control C, which copies that letter. Obviously, you could go up to Edit and you could go to Copy but you see Control-C does the same thing. So once I've copied it, I'm going to navigate using this toolbar or the scroll bar. I'm going to turn the eye on within your team name. I'm also going to click on the arrow beside it. And it's going to say your name here is going to be the one layer that's within that file folder. I'm going to click on that layer to highlight it. Then I'm going to press Control plus V on my keyboard. And you see it placed this B for the first letter within this file or this folder. Obviously, you could also go to edit. Once that was selected, you could go to edit and then you could go to paste, which is control V. I'm going to go back to my team name and turn off my eyeball because I want to make sure I'm going to go down, scroll down to where A is, highlight it, control C on my keyboard. Scroll back up, click on your name here, even though the eyeball's not on, I'm still going to click on it, and I'm going to press Control V, and it puts it into the lineup within that folder. So I need to scroll back down and find the R. Here's the R, Control C on my keyboard, back up, click on your name here, Control V to paste, E R A. I see we need V, click on my V, scroll, Control C. Back up, your name here, control V. Scroll back down to my E. Let's see. Click on it to highlight it, control C on my keyboard. Scroll back up, click on your name here, control V to paste it. And now all I need is S. So let's go down, there we go. Click on it, left click to highlight, control C. On my keyboard, go back up, click on the your name here, and control V to paste. Now at this point, it's all there, you can't see it, but it's all there. So where the alphabet is, I'm gonna press beside the alphabet folder. I'm gonna press the arrow is pointing down now. I'm gonna press that folder and it's gonna close the folder. So you see all of those letters went back into this folder, they're not clouding up my layers panel. I'm going to press the I right beside alphabet to turn it off. So it's there, but I can't see it. I'm going to go back up to team name, your team name, not 
the single layer, but the actual folder. And I'm going to turn on the I beside it. And you can see all my letters are in there, but they're all obviously on top of each other. So I'm going to go over to my actual workspace here in Photoshop, grab my B, pull it over, grab my A, grab my R, and I'm just going to arrange these letters to spell the team name that I want. So obviously, I love how uh, Photoshop has, you'll see the little pink lines. It shows you the exact dimensions. Say that I wanted to go closer. Obviously, it's not letting me go any closer. Let's zoom in for a second. It's not letting me get it closer. It's got like a set point between the two letters. At, at that point, if you wanted to move it, you can use the arrows on your keyboard and just slide it over like that. E-R-A. There we go. V. Let's see. E. Just moving it with my click on it with my left sided mouse here on the canvas. S. There we go. Let's see. And I'm going to move the S over a little bit. Obviously, you could arrange this easier. You could just put them up here if you wanted to make sure that they were um, arranged proportionately, like they were all in the same plane for, for the top and the bottom. You could take your mouse, obviously, with the full weight arrow clicked in your toolbar. You want to left click on your canvas and draw a square around all of these letters. Once all of those letters, you have a square drawn around them, go up here to the top. This is going to be your align panel. You can also access it through when, well, no, you can't access it. You usually can access it through windows, but it should be up at the top, the align panel. And you're going to press the three dots I do to make it into a drop down box. You want to make sure it says align to selection. You want it aligned just to that square. And then if you go up to the top, all the way to the right, we're under the align portion, go all the way to the right, the second to last is going to be the align vertical. If you click it, it pulls them all in a line to where one's not higher, one's not lower. They're all going to be on the same, that center plane. Now at this point, okay, I have all of these together. They're all fit together. I like how they're situated. If you want to put even space between the letters, once again, align panel, go to on the align panel, the second part, which is distribute, go all the way to the right, and you're going to click distribute horizontal. It's the second button to the end. So I'm going to click it, and there we go. So it distributed it. I don't like the fact it does it based on space and kerning. I don't like the fact that the R and the A are too close together. So I'm going to take my mouse and just highlight this S, and we're going to move them over some, and then I'm going to highlight my B and my R. And I'm just using the arrows on my keyboard, and I'm going to put a little extra space there. Okay, so that's good. Like I said, as such. Okay, so all I did was use the arrows on my keyboard, and I left-clicked my mouse, drew a box to highlight. Once these are in the alignment you want them, make sure they're in the alignment you need. I'm going to go over here to your Layers panel. I'm going to click on the file folder that says your team name, okay? I'm going to, once I've clicked on it, it's gonna highlight it. You're going to right click then. It's gonna open up a drop down box. You're gonna go all the way down to the bottom where it says merge group. And now your team name is a single layer, yay! Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we are going to, on our layers panel, where it says the actual Pride 201 template, there's an empty square in front of it. We're going to click it so the eye comes back on and you can see the template. At this point, what you're going to need to do, I'm going to actually pull my team name above the template. So all I'm doing is I, it's selected, it's highlighted, I left clicked on it. Holding down my left key, my left clicker, I'm going to move my mouse and as I do, it's going to pick this up and you see the blue, it's going right above it. It put it into that pride template. I can look here. And now it's ahead of the team name. See, this is the basic right down here. And up here is the one that I created. So using my layers panel, make sure this is open. Make sure that my team name, if my team name, let's say it was down here. Okay, it's still behind it. I would press the left clicker and move my mouse to move it so it comes in front of team name so I can see it. Once it's there, go to my canvas, take the word, left click on it, 
with my mouse, move it, and I want to get it basically what I think is the general center of where it needs to be based on where team name is. Go over to my layers panel, click on that bottom layer where team name is, and I'm going to delete it. And so I press delete on my keyboard. You could also press delete at the bottom of the screen. And now it's gone. So that's awesome. I'm going to navigate up here on the right side in my layers panel to the team name I placed. And once again, up on your top toolbar, you want to click on the three little dots to open the align panel. Once you've opened the align panel, you want to go to the bottom right hand corner and instead of align to the selection, you want to change it to align to the canvas. Once we have aligned to the canvas, at the very top, the second little button is going to be Align Horizontal Center. You want to click that and, oh, we already had it in the center. Awesome. So now we know that it is centered in the canvas, which is what we need. Okay, so you most likely do not want the stripes behind to be yellow, and you probably do not want the forefront of these letters to be white. So using your toolbar over to the left, you're going to... Click on, this is the magic wand tool. It looks like a little Harry Potter wand with sparkles. You're going to click on it to select it. And once it is selected, obviously at this point, because I don't have anything over here selected, it's just giving me a weird little circle with a line through it. But if you'll come over here and you will select, you'll highlight the Pride 201 template. You'll just click anywhere over here. It's going to... Actually, let's go to your team name. I'm going to click on your team name. Okay, so highlight one layer. So I highlighted your team name. And I'm going to hover over the white portion of the letters of the team name I created. When I hover over the white portion, I'm going to press the left key. And that's going to select the V. If you'll see at the top, once you do this, it's going to open up the little um, magic wand info center kind of up here. And right now, if you look up here, this, this is a circle and it's connected with the square. And this means that it's only going to select the color white. When I hover over it, it's only going to select the white that is connecting to that white. So if they're not touching, it's not going to select it. You could go through and do the letters, but that's going to take time. So I'm going to actually at this point click to turn that off. You just click to turn it on, click to turn it off, click to turn it off. Because this is still highlighted, I'm going to press on my keyboard, Control D. That just deselects is what it does. Now I'm going to take my mouse, hover again over the white of the V, left click, and it chooses all of those for me. Isn't that awesome? So at this point, I'm going to, once I have all of these highlighted, I'm going to go over here to the left, these are your foreground color and your background color. You're going to click on this uh, foreground color because you want to set the foreground color. So I'm going to double click and move this here. Here you could enter your hex numbers, RGBs, CMYK, any of those. I'm just going to basically pick here and I'm going to double, triple click because that's what I do. I'm going to press OK. Now at this point, OK, I've got my color. This is selected, but you have to go up here to the little paint bucket. Click on the paint bucket. Then you're going to hover over your canvas and left click. And it's only going to pour the paint into the area that's highlighted. So that's why we made sure we only got the letters that the white part of the letters. We wanted to get all the whites. Now, at this point, okay, I want to press Control in D to deselect those letters. Obviously the yellow needs to go too, so I'm going to go back over to the left side, my toolbar, click on my magic wand tool, hover over the yellow, left click once. Oh, guess what it did? Because I don't have that layer selected, selected everything. So let's go control D. We want to go down to this layer here. You can see the little bits of yellow top and bottom. Click on it. Then we want to click on the yellow. After we've clicked on the yellow, go back to your left toolbar, choose your paint bucket, hover over the yellow, left click, and it's going to turn it red as well. And then once again, control, control D will deselect it.
And so now you have this all together and the colors you need. Obviously, if you were gonna use this as a PNG, you would want to go to your layers panel and where it says background, turn the eyeball off so you have a clear background. You can also go up here to your main folder now that has all of these layers together, right click and press merge group to make it an individual layer. I would also suggest before saving it, clicking once on the alphabet folder going down to the bottom and pressing the delete button. You want to delete the group and contents, and then you want to save this as a brand new file. So you would go to file, save as, and rename it Braves Pride. Do not save it over the template because you'll lose the ability to make other prides. So make sure you save it as a new name, and then you can come back and repeat this process as often as needed to make as many different pride shirts as you would like. Thank you so much. I hope this has helped you. And have a wonderful day.